We have uh, a gift for you, which is me again, giving you some, uh, some words. Okay, what we are going to do now, I'm afraid I'm, I'm trying to move, but I have to be sticking here. What we are trying to do now is to have a, a basic presentation about what is the world organization of the scout movement and scouting in, in general, which will help you in the coming two events, the one that we have now and, and the conference, whoever will go to the conference, to understand the context where we are, um, why, why they are saying World Scout Bureau or World Organization of the Scout Movement or WAGS or GSAT or there is a lot of terminology you will hear. I'm sure some of you will be already expert. The game is not showing your level, of course. It's just a, a way to uh, interact, let's say. So we will start with the basics of scouting and WUZM. I'm not going to talk about Baden Powell. I assume that everybody knows who is Baden Powell, right? <laughs> A guy in UK, 1907, he has some nice idea that makes us not sleeping for about 10 days now, continuously, okay? I'm not talking about also the Bible of scouting, which for so many people that it is the scouting for boys, which is one of the, um, for the historians that they are write history for scouting, that actually this is when scouting started because, because it has kind of the guideline where we are and what to do and what not to do. So these kind of things is basic, really basic. I'm sure all the Cub Scouts and Scouts know about Baden Powell, know about the promise, about the law, about the patrol system, about so many things that they are already doing. And because you are scouts coming for the, the decision-making educational tool for young people in, in Muslim, so this kind of things I'm not going to talk about. What I'm going to talk about, about some more fundamentals that you will hear from here and there about scouting and about Muslim. Let's start with the purpose, the mission, or even the program that we are doing at the grassroots level. This is very simple. If you take it as I'm going to say it, it is very simple. If we have a young person, any range between five to six years old, sorry, five to 26 years old, Cub Scout, Beaver Scout, Senior Scout, Rover, or any other terminology that you are using in your country, and we give him or her a scouting education. All the things that we are doing in scouting. A campfire, a jamboree, going in a camp, going in a nature, having a patrol meeting, doing uh, merit badges, all these very wonderful uh, things that we are doing in scouting. What we will achieve at the end is active citizens. And that's why it was important that to have to work together on this active citizenship route so we can have a better idea about what we are doing. So it is simply if we are saying that, that means scouts can create a better world with these active citizens that they are acting locally, thinking globally, or they are doing things at local or national or regional or even world level as you do. This is the purpose of scouting, to empower young people to contribute in the education of young people to be an active citizens at all levels. Then we are talking about the scouting principles. This is according to the constitution, we have three principles. Duty to God, duty to others, and duty to self. If you do these three duties, you are doing scouting. And the scout method, it's a single method with seven or now maybe it will be eight if the adoption of the World Scout Conference say that it will be eight. This is the offer that we have now. Eight elements, together they are forming the scout method. Not each one is a method by itself, so we can say scout methods. It is not plural, it is singular. So it is one method with seven elements for the moment or eight elements if the conference adopt what we are proposing. These are learning by doing, personal progression, team system, the support of the adults, the symbolic framework, nature, 
community involvement, and the center of this, the promise and law. People are thinking that these are the shared values, the scout promise and law is the shared values that we have. Whenever a scout meets a scout from different countries in any other part of the world, this is are the, the, the shared values that we have. So learning by doing. What we have now, the planning committee is planning something for you. Can work, cannot work, but they will learn and you will learn from this opportunity that you have. When you go as a leader, go and, uh, for a camp uh, outdoor, you will also learn and the young people will learn. So it's uh, always learning by doing. Personal progression, duty to self. You have to be progressive when you are learning. Team system, it's about patrols, it is about crews in the rovers. There is adults that they have to support in the education. Symbols, we have scarf, we have signs, we have so many things that symbolize the, the movement. We would like to do always things in nature. That's why we are trying all, all, almost, um, trying all of the time to bring you out, not always in the plenary hall. And community involvement is the new element that we are trying to, to put. So we we'll always think about active citizens, even if you are playing chess or doing sailing. That has to empower you as an active citizen in your community. Now if we move to the structure of FUSM, it, it can be like structure of any organization, even like the United Nations can be similar to us in this case, or FIFA or any world-led organization or international organization. So we have something called the World Scout Conference. This is like the general assembly of the organization. All the members coming together and they decide something for the good of the organization, but it is a high level decisions. So for all of you who are going to the, the World Scout Conference, you'll see that kind of high level decisions taken for the whole organization, not for a single uh, uh, country or for uh, one part of the world, but it is for the whole world in scouting. And it's happening every three years. So this is the year of the conference. Last time was in 2014 in Slovenia, before it was in 2011 in Brazil, and so on. And the coming one will be in 2020. We will know if it is in Malaysia or in Egypt because they are bidding. The World Scout Committee. This is like the board of the organization. Like you have in your National Scout organization, you have a board that takes decision between the general assemblies. So you cannot sustain without having a board that takes decisions that you need all the time. So they are meeting at least once, but the norm that we have now is twice a year, and maybe more, but the norm that we have now is twice a year in March and in September. This, we call it the group of 27. We have the 12 voting members, that we will vote on in the conference and we will have 12 of them. Six regional chairs. In each region we have regional chairman for the regional committee and these six regional chairs, they are members in the uh, World Scout Committee but they are not voting members. They are members but not voting members. The six youth advisors, we consider now them that they are members of this group but they are not constitutional members. So they have all the rights because of the WUSM um, norm and repetition now that we do have. So they have already all the, the, the rights, but they are not constitutionally in the constitution for the moment. The Secretary General, the World Scout Foundation member, and the Treasurer. These are the 27 um, members of the World Scout Committee. And these people, as I said, they are meeting together to decide for the good of the organization between the general uh, assemblies, which is the World Scout Conference. The World Scout Bureau, where I am a staff in this uh, uh, bureau, and I'm honored to be there. It's like the executive body of WUSM. This is who is e executing the things happening in the organization. It has a two global support center and seven regional support centers. All these support centers, they are working worldwide with around 100 plus St professional staff to serve the whole movement. People thinking that we are in the Bureau around thousands of people, but we are only around 100 people serving the whole movement. So now the regions. Can we know, who knows what is the six regions of WUSM? Let's say together. 
Africa, Arab, Inter America, Europe, Eurasia, Asia Pacific. Right. These are the six regions. Um, region we have a, a support center. Can you know where is the support center of Africa? Nairobi. Nairobi. And in Asia Pacific? No. Manila in the Philippines. And uh, Eurasia? Where? Yes. In Ukraine. And um, Arab? In Cairo, in Egypt. And Inter America? Panama. Panama. Who left? Europe? In Geneva. And there is another one? In Brussels. So Europe has two. And where is the global support center? There is one in Kuala Lumpur and there is one in, in Geneva. Because WUSM has what we call the World Scout Bureau Inc., which is the legal seat. Every organization has something legal to, to hold its uh, organization. So we can have account uh, in the bank and we can have legal issues with any country that we do, have our premises in. And that legal seat is in Geneva uh, for the moment. Funds, where we got our budget to work as an organization, from the membership fees from the member organizations, all your National Scout organizations that they are members, from the World Scout Foundation, which is another entity that generate funds for us with all the fellows that they love scouting and donors that they love scouting, and partnerships. Sometimes we have projects that generate some fund to do some good uh, work. So these are the three main uh, source of fund that we do have for the moment. Candlestick. How many pinkies here? Only one. Ooh. I invite you to be pinkies, guys. This is the World Scout Center, the only World Scout Center that we have in Uzum. And it is in Candlestick in Switzerland, and it is a wonderf wonderful place. Baden Powell himself was there, and he was dreaming of having a mini jamboree, permanent mini jamboree that the people can meet uh, all over the world. What is this? Two logos? Wags and Uzum. That's good. What does it mean, Wags? That's right. World Association of Girl Scouts and Girl Guys and Girl Scouts. This is a sister organization that founded by the same founder but it is a separate organization for the Girl Guides and the Girl Scouts. But if you know, and I'm sure here we have already some, maybe, maybe, I'm not sure, but maybe we have already some Girl Guides that are already with us in this event. And in the Jamborees and even at le local level, we have many associations that they are together. Who knows what is the World Scout events that we do have? Jamboree. Moot, Roverway is a regional, not world. What? The Interreligious Symposium, right? World Scout Congress, Juta Juti, the Youth Forum, the World Scout Conference. Did we miss anything? What? I said the Educational Congress. So the main ones are the Jamboree, the last one in Japan in 2015, the Moot, just finished in Iceland. Great. Our forum? Uh, uh, ooh. Okay, you are tired, right? And the conference. And this one, we believe that it is the biggest youth event on earth because every October, the third weekend of October, it have how many? Around three million young people is communicating with each other and having activities with each other. The Education Congress, which have the second one in Kandrashtik last May, and the Interreligious Symposium when we have the fifth edition of it the last uh, January. I can take two questions if you want. Any question regarding what I have just presented? Are you a secret hero? Sorry? Are you a secret hero? 
Me? No, I'm not a superhero. I'm just a human. <laughs> but you are superheroes. What else? Okay, if there is no, let's con Let me go back. Huh? Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, we don't have a number of you. We have very, very few number. We were supposed to give it for the people who will make it until the end uh, to get one of them. But we can produce and we can give you even uh, the, the soft copy of the things to produce it yourself if you want. So whoever would like to get the, the, um, the soft copy, soft copy, huh? not hard copy. We can provide it for you, and you can do it at your home, print, cut it, and you can play with it. And if you like it, we can also ask the World Scout shop to, to produce it for mass production. Okay, now I assume that we are having more people so that we can go for the advanced level of some information. It might be not advanced, but it is more information. Now we're talking about some more governance issue. And here we're talking about policies. And the policies is something that gives you a general framework of what you are doing. And in many organizations, they do have policies like us. And it guides them when you are inside your policy or outside your policy. I'm sure you hear about, no, 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 this is not our policy. This is, yes, this is our policy. So this kind of words, it guides you if you are going in the right direction or the wrong direction. In the educational field, we have four main World, World Scout policies, which are, as you can see on the screen, World Scout Youth Program Policy, World Scout Youth Involvement Policy, Adults in Scouting Policy, and Safe from Harm Policy. This, the last one, is not yet endorsed, so we are going with it to the conference, and if we have it, we will have this four. You will hear also about something called Global Support Assessment Tool. This is a new thing that we started a few years ago to help all national organizations to know where are they in a benchmarking way from the national, or sorry, from the non-governmental organizations. So they will know where they are from finance, governance, operations, administration, all the things, and they have this uh, 10 dimensions as you can see on the screen, an institutional governance framework, strategic framework, integrity management, youth program, communication and advocacy and public, uh, public image, adults in scouting, resources, allocation and financial control, growth potential and continuous improvement. This, you can find it online. You can assess yourself as an organization by yourself. You can ask them to assess you by uh, professional assessors that they are trained or we can have a third party assessor, which is for us SGS, it's a Swiss organization that work in the standardization that can also assist in that um, matter. We are working now on something called Better World Framework, which we believe that it is a dream from the founder. He started to, to talk about it in 1920 in the first World Scout uh, conference and jamboree to have a network or a global network of active citizens. And that will tell us that we have to work with the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals of the UN, and you will have a session on this tomorrow. And this, all this offering, and whoever would like to know about this offering, we have a breakout session about it, 